Hello guys, welcome to my full week of workouts. Before I get straight into the exercises, I just want to say a couple of things. Number one, the workouts I'm about to show you are more suited for the gym. With this I mean that you can do that at home if you have some weights, but if your goal is the same as mine, which is to build muscle, you're probably going to need a gym membership, unless you can afford to keep purchasing weights, which can get very expensive. So if your goal is to build muscle, which probably is, and that's why you clicked on this video, then you should really think about the gym membership. Unless you're a total beginner and you have some weights at home, then it can work out for a while. Then another thing that I want to touch upon is that I don't show you in this video that I do 12k steps every single day. The reason I didn't show it is because it's just me walking so it would be quite boring but I want to say this because a lot of people kind of neglect cardio and say oh you don't need cardio to build muscle yes you don't need cardio to build muscle but your heart is the most important muscle and you should take care of it and the way you take care of it is through cardio so please do your cardio and don't think that you have to like go run the marathon to do your cardio you can just go outside and just walk currently like I said I do 12k steps but I just started at 6k and then gradually just added more steps and now I do them pretty easily they fit into my routine and that's really the key is to find something that fits into your routine and that makes you happy it doesn't really feel like a chore then the third thing that I would like to say just to get this video started is that these workouts that I'm about to show you are the ones that work for me most of the exercises that are in this video are compounds and those will pretty much work for everyone but maybe you'll have to switch some things up I'm going to try to explain that to the best of my abilities while I'm just explaining the exercise to you but I really want you to keep in mind that for example you might do some different exercises because these ones don't you don't quite feel the muscles as well as with other ones but because this is my full week of workouts then I'm just going to show you the exercise that I actually do every single week oh and just another thing that I really have to mention is that I don't have any formal degree in fitness so I'm not a personal trainer I'm not a nutritionist I'm not any of that so everything that I'm going to tell you is things that I learned from the internet from reading studies and all of that fun stuff so there might be some mistakes that I don't really realize so please take everything I say with a grain of salt and always do your research this video is honestly just to help you give you an idea of exercises and yeah that's it oh okay and disclaimer number two I promise this is the last one is that please don't compare yourself to others you could do this exact workout routine and not end up having the same body as me because we're all different genetics play a big role how you eat plays a big role how you sleep how you live all of those things so please just focus on being strong and being the best version of you so it is being said we're finally going to get started so buckle up and let's go Mondays are my rest days, so that's why we're going to start with Tuesday, although I still do my 12k steps even on rest days. Tuesdays are my first leg day of the week. I start off my session with hip thrusts, which if you still haven't heard of them, they are the number one exercise to build your glutes. The way you want to perform this is by finding a bench or a step with a height that allows you to rest your back from your scapulas up. You're going to place the bar on your hips, Preferably use a bar pad and or a mat so it doesn't hurt you and then you want to lift the bar with your glutes while keeping your core tight. In terms of sets and reps, I usually start off with a warm-up with a weight that is a warm-up to me, which means that the weight I use wouldn't be the same that you use. Then I do 2-3 to three more sets, each increasing the weight and decreasing the reps. After hip thrusts, I move on to single leg barbell lunges. These are a bit tricky because it really challenges your core strength and balance. Because I want these lunges to target my glutes more than my quads, I don't perform them in the typical way in the sense that I don't strive for my back knee to touch the floor. What I do is when I come down, I push my glutes back until I have no range of motion left and then come back up. It's a bit hard to explain, but it's sort of the same thing you do with remaining deadlift. For sets, I only perform two. I don't do any warm-up set because I already warm up before with the hip thrust. My third exercise are remaining deadlifts. These target mostly your hamstrings, which are a mess if you're looking to build strong glutes. For this, you want to start with a sense hip width apart and at the bottom, when the bar is still on the floor, you shouldn't start in a squat position, but rather in a position with your hips higher and your torso more forward. When lifting the bar off the floor, remember to always engage your core so you don't hurt your lower back. The movement should stop when you can't push your hips back anymore, which should be around when the bar goes slightly below your knees. Always keep your neck and spine aligned to not strain your neck and never ever curve your back. It should always be straight and you shouldn't feel any pain. For sets, I usually only do two. This day I did 12 reps and 10 reps. 
Still focusing on hamstrings, let's move on to my fourth exercise which is leg curls. Typically, you see people doing this with their back resting on the machine, but I prefer to perform them with my back upright as there is evidence it targets your hamstrings better. Before doing this, please don't forget to adjust the machine to your body and then you only have to push the pad back with your legs and then try your best to let it come back up in a controlled manner. I like to perform 3 sets of around 12 reps each and then on my last set I do a drop set which means that I do the set, then I drop the weight and perform the exercise until I can't do any more reps. Lastly, I finish off with kickbacks. You might have seen people perform this in other ways, but I use them to target my glute medius and not my glute maximums, aka I use them to target the side of my glutes. For this, I keep my leg almost straight and push it back in a 45 degree angle. The goal here is for you to feel it on your side glute and not in your whole glutes. Regarding the sets, I usually perform 3, all increasing the weight and within the 15 to 25 rep range. On Wednesdays, I train my back and sometimes biceps as well. Training your back and your upper body in general is super important for women because it allows you to have more strength for other exercises and also helps you having that small waist look. I started off this day with lat pull downs to target my upper back. Try to avoid using momentum, pulling with your arms or pushing your body back. I usually do a warm up set here and then move on to do 3 more working weight sets, each increasing the weight and decreasing the reps, but always within the 5 to 12 rep range. Then I move on to my single lat pull on the cable machine. For this you want to leave the cable position in the highest setting and position yourself with one knee on the floor for added stability. Then you want to pull the weight in a way that you're pulling your elbow towards the floor and not towards you. I know this is a weird cue but when you're performing the exercise it will make sense to you. Your arm shouldn't go past your body and I find this one one of the best exercises to actually feel your back working. For sets, I usually do 3 upping the weight each time. Then we move on to single arm rows. For this, you want to leave your hand in a neutral position like if you were giving someone a thumbs up and focusing on pulling the weight with your back. Again, your arm shouldn't go past your body and I also perform 3 sets of this. Lastly, I end the session with an incline bench row. This is a very awkward looking exercise, but it's great to really feel your back working. For this, you want to lay on your belly on an inclined bench. You should pull the dumbbells towards your body while keeping your neck aligned with your spine. Really focus on only using your back muscles and not your neck or traps to pull the weight. Here I again did 3 sets. For Thursday's menu, we have shoulders with a touch of triceps. My first exercise is usually an inclined shoulder press. For this, you only have to push the dumbbells up and try to have a 90 degree angle at the bottom. I know that for girls, working your upper body might not seem as appealing as your lower, but you should also push yourselves. Oh, and also for this I usually do one warm up set and then I do three more. For my second exercise, I do a tricep push down, cable face pull super set. For the tricep push down, you want to keep your arms close to your body and push the rope towards your body. Then, for the face pull, you want to pull the rope towards your face and not towards your chest, which is a very common mistake. I also perform 3 sets with the typical increasing the weight and decreasing the reps. So I do 12 reps of the tricep push down and then 12 reps of the cable face pull and that's one set. Then I move on to a rear delt cable pull or whatever this exercise is called because I never know. For this, you want to place the cable above your shoulder so that you pull the cable in an angled positioning. You should feel this in your rear delts, which is the muscle on the back side of your shoulder. I do 4 sets of 15 to 25 reps of this. For my fourth exercise, I perform a single arm shoulder push with a static hold. I press with one arm while the other arm stays holding the weight at the top. I do 5 reps on each side and then I just switch arms. 3 rounds of this equals 1 set and I do 3 sets in total. Lastly, I finish off with a lateral raises drop set. To perform a lateral raise, you want to slightly incline your body towards the front and start with your arms by your side. Then you want to raise your arms, thinking about pointing your pinky upwards and focusing on feeling your delts working. I like to do 12 to 15 reps with a heavier weight and then drop to a lower weight for 15 to 25 reps. Usually I perform 2 to 3 sets. Friday is my second leg day of the week and again I start off with hip thrusts but this time with a variation because I don't let the weight come down all the way. Instead I just do half of the movement really focusing on squeezing my glutes at the top and controlling the weight. For this you most likely need to lower the weight compared to a dead stop hip thrust but these are also so good. 
I perform 4 sets, increasing the weight on each set. Then I move on to everyone's most hated exercise, Bulgarian split squats. These hurt so much, but I swear by them. They are one of the best exercises if you want to truly build your glutes. To perform them, you're going to place one foot on a surface, while the other one should have a relatively wide stance. When you're going down, you want to push your hips back instead of down, so you can target more of your glutes and your quads. When you come up, you should think of moving your body forward instead of up. You can perform this exercise holding two dumbbells or just one, I prefer just one. I perform three sets and on the last one I do a drop set with two other lighter weights. To keep the torture going, I move on to my abandoned dumbbell remaining deadlift cable kickback superset. That was a mouthful. For the remaining deadlifts, you want to tie your bands to something that you know that won't move and the reason why we use bands is because it adds another element of resistance making the movement target not only your hamstrings but also your glutes. When you finish around 10 to 12 reps of the remaining deadlifts, go straight into the kickbacks. You will definitely feel the burn with this. I usually do 3 sets. To finish off the session, I perform hyper extensions which are a very underrated glute exercise. You're going to want to hold on to a plate or a dumbbell and when you're going up, you should only be pulling through your glutes so your back should be curved and your chin tucked in with your chest. I perform 2 sets of around 30 reps and then in each set I put the weight down and do 30 reps more just with my body weight. Saturdays are my upper body days because you want to make sure that you are hitting every muscle 2 times a week for it to grow. Of course there are other variables other than frequency that come to play but that's a whole different video. I start off with a close grip lat pull down. Just like the regular version, you should really focus on pulling with your back and reducing momentum. I do 3 sets, always increasing the weight and striving for that extra rep. Then I move on to the machine row. You can also perform this one on the cable machine or even with just a barbell or dumbbells if you prefer. For this, I focus on pulling with my back and not letting my arms go past behind my body. Again, I do 3 sets. Then I move on to my cable rear delt pulls, whatever this thing is called, exactly how I perform them on Thursday, but this time only for 3 sets. Afterwards, I usually do a seated shoulder press with dumbbells, with some lateral raises as a superset, but I accidentally forgot to film it, so let's just pretend it's here. Sometimes I also do some extra chest, tricep or bicep exercises, but I don't do it every single week just because I'm happy with how they look and I think I'm already pretty strong on those exercises. I finish off this day with 20 minutes of static by cardio just for fun. Sundays are my third and final leg days. I begin with barbell squats. I usually do one more up set and then 3 to 4 working weight sets. For this, I like to go heavy and stay around 19 degrees because I want to put more emphasis on my glutes rather than my quads. However, you can definitely go below parallel if that suits you. For squats, you want to make sure your back is always straight and you are bracing your core so you don't get a lower back injury because that would be pretty bad. Also, don't let your knees cave in when performing the movement and you should use a hip width stance for glutes. And not a sumo stance, even though a lot of people tell you that sumo is for glutes when in reality it's not. After squats, I move on to the leg press. To target more of your glutes, you should choose a hip width stance and put your feet slightly upper in the machine. Then you want to reach around a 90 degree angle. I usually do 3 sets. For my third exercise, we have those leg curls again, but this time you're going to perform 12 reps, but the hold at the bottom on the last rep, and then you're going to do 5 more reps. Trust me, it burns so bad. Also, on the last set, you're going to do a drop set, so you're going to perform your set with your weight, and then you're going to drop the weight and just do more reps until you can't do anymore. Then I move on to my hyper extensions like I did on Friday. For this, I do two sets, and each set corresponds of 25 reps with the heaviest weight, 30 reps with the medium weight, and then 35 reps with body weight. You really need to push through this because they are so hard and you're going to be so tired. And that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful and that you learned something or at least it gave you more ideas for exercises you can do. I try not to go too in-depth in each thing because I didn't want this video to be humongous so I try to be short and sweet but I could definitely make other videos on different topics like for example how should you eat to grow muscle, how frequently should you train, how much volume should you make per week, how to set up your training schedule and all of that fun stuff and yeah! This was a fun video to make and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!